And it is time for Medicare on the air with your host, Medicare, Mark Brownstein and guests. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Rockland. Good morning, Steve and Jeff. Good morning, my guest, Nancy, the ne- uh, the nurse practitioner. Welcome. Um, Thank it's, you. It's so nice to be here today. I know that there's a call waiting. I'm so excited to get that call. On the other hand, I just want to give a sort of a, a brief, this is open enrollment uh, wrap. Um, it is the most hectic time of the year for me. You are seeing uh, pieces of mail. You are seeing TV ads. You are getting phone calls. It is not always legit. And I can tell you that our office is inundated with opportunities, uh, opportunities to help people understand Medicare, understand their needs, understand what they can do for their own health and their own budget. Um, Just quickly, uh, we have an office in Nyack and Stony Point. My phone number is 845-358-1220, emeraldmedicare.com. We help people all year long. I just did a webinar for 40 people earlier this week, just enthusiastic questions that came after the webinar. So again, I am here today with um, uh, Nancy, um, the nurse practitioner from Rockland. Uh, Welcome, Nancy. Thank you for having me today. Oh, it's so nice. I was on your uh, YouTube channel recently, and um, we talked a little bit about what you do and what I do in Medicare. And and, and so you are originally from Rockland, and, and maybe you can just talk a little bit at the outset here on sort of your journey. Uh, you're, you're now not in uh, Rockland, but you've been here. You come here all the time. A little bit about your journey. Yeah, so um, my name is Nancy Rhodes. I'm a nurse practitioner. I've been in home care and worked in Rockland for 40 years. Wow. I took care of a lot of people here, running a house calls company for 10 years, and uh, recently moved to Connecticut like five years ago. Um, Still pretty known in Rockland because that was my home base for most of my life. And um, that's pretty much it. I worked in home in the community. I really didn't like the hospital, so that that was my passion. Um, and it led me to some incredible events in my life. Um, just taking care of most of a lot of Rockland County and many of the people out there that know me, we had a good time for sure. Um, but now that I'm in Connecticut, I found the need to do some other things. I wanted to take care of more people not just one community. So actually, I'll tell you about my world. The world has become my community. So, you know, you are a, um, a, a spiritual person, really, uh, a, with a gift to want to help. Uh, you've written this book uh, called Caregiver Success. It is a large book with many helpful tips and ideas on how to sort of um, manage life. And so maybe you can give us an overview of what this, uh, this book represents for you, how it sort of came to be, and what value you want to bring to the community that you want to educate So, you know, as people get older, uh, all of us, we're all going to run into the same problems, Um, skin tears, constipation, et cetera. And I found that, you know, when your mom moves in, she doesn't come with instructions. (laughs) And I thought it was time to write a book. And a lot of my patients offered to have their pictures of different problems and situations in the book. So thank you to all you out there that helped with that. It's, it made it a beautiful 370-page book full of pictures and stories, all color, 14 font, easy to read, so that you, the caregiver, who's kind of the caregiver is all of us, if you take care of yourself, your friend, your mother, your you know children, you are a caregiver. Um, so the book is really for everybody who wants to prevent medical crisis. It teaches you tips and tools that are common problems as we age. And if you know what's going to happen before they happen, you could prevent medical crisis. Uh, there are so many, so many incredible, uh, helpful tips in this. Um, it's, it's certainly a labor of love. Um, you've, you've done this um, to really help people. Um, I want to just take that quick call that's been on hold. Uh, so um, I will take the call. Hello? Hello. Is that me, Joyce? <laughs> uh, this is Mark. Can I help you? Okay. Yes, Mark. I would like to have your number. You said 845 358 1220. Zero. I'll call, call you privately. Um, I'm calling in uh, because I wanted to speak with uh, Nancy, uh, the nurse practitioner, and her 
caregiver success. Uh, I've known Nancy and been um, listening to her and watching her videos, which are fantastic. I'm a caregiver myself. I have a 100-year-old patient uh, and a 72-year-old. I've worked with Easter Seals, a 33-year-old. Um, but these, this uh, Nancy, the, uh, the nurse practitioner, uh, she is fabulous. She Thank has you, a Joyce. sense of humor. <laughs> sense of humor. I mean, I laugh. Uh, she has the bones about. I'm suffering myself with arthritis, and she has a bone necklace. <laughs> and she starts off the videos. Every video, really, Nancy, fabulous. And thank you. Wish you. Continued success. Oh, and, you. and Mark, I love the fact that um, Medicare Mark or Mark, it's Mark Medica- Medicare, Medicare Mark. Mark. Yes. I love it. <laughs> thank um, you. And I also like the intro that you said. There's a lot of mail getting out there, things coming into me, and I'm, you know, and uh, being I, I'm on Medicare myself, uh, and uh, I don't know whether I should change. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with what I have. So it's something I'd like to talk to you privately. Um, but I, I also wanted to, uh, you know, recently I've joined an uh, organization that makes plant-based cosmetics, and and also okay. with things like that and um you know i encourage my my clients i've had many clients i've been doing this since 2001 um as a hair care caregiver and companion and people will say to me they look in the mirror and they say i look like that Joyce, Joyce, i'm sorry number. i'm sorry to interrupt you but i really really want to take some more time talking to nancy uh, so 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 please um uh, allow me to uh, just sort of keep talking to her is that okay Yes, yes, yes. Okay, but I just you. wanted her to talk okay. more about wearing makeup, how important okay. it is to look good. Okay, okay I'm listening okay. to the rest of the show. Okay, thank Have you. a great show. Thank Thanks, Joyce. Thank Bye. You. Um, so, so, Nancy, you have views from all over the world. You've, had, you've told me stories about people from all over. Tell, tell us a little bit about that and how uh, inspiring that is. Okay, so just to go back a bit, um, in 2017, I merged my house calls company um, with another company. I moved to Connecticut. And at that time is when I started writing the book. I took two and a half years to write this book. Um, took a lot of thought, a lot of whatnot. And that, the book just came out, by the way, February 20th, 2020, which is a funky number because it was right before we really got stuck in the March month of COVID, which really made the world come to a halt, basically. Um, but little did I know, um, I also naively started a YouTube channel in April 2019. Uh, and the reason I started that was because the book has a lot about process in it. But when you think of process, you, there's a lot of steps to doing something, like how to make a bed with somebody in it. By the time I'm done, I'm four pages in with bullets. I'm like, well, let me show people how to make a bed with somebody in it. So I took my patient out of the bed, put her in a wheelchair in the kitchen, and I threw the aid in the bed, and I did six videos last April. And one of my videos was how to use a Hoyer lift with just one person. And it got 61,000 views from all over the world, from Pakistan, Egypt, Australia, India. And then I realized that the whole world needed this information, not just America. You know, my book was for baby boomers and Americans. And then once YouTube showed me that so many people needed this, it turned out to be all of us and all over the world. So my community is not just Rockland or Connecticut. It's the world now. You know, this gives hope. It gives uh, the meaning of hope to, and we all need hope. And when people are in a caregiving situation, um, as I know, having been an elder advocate, that is just so important for people to know that there's answers. Uh, People have done everything from car maintenance to lawyer lifts on YouTube, and you have opened up that door um, you've been um, a groundbreaker in this arena. And so one of the things that we talked about um, earlier, um, first of all, tell people how they can get the book and what are the opportunities uh, to get this information in their hands. Okay, so the book is called Caregiver Success, and so is my YouTube channel. So it's really easy, everyone. Um, and www.caregiversuccess.com is where my website is. You can get an ebook. Um, which is really nice because if you have, if you're the daughter and you live in another state, and right now many of us are not with our parents, if we can't be, you can have an ebook, and you could be looking up constipation, for instance, and the aide is in the home with your mom, and she can have the tool book 
and she could actually turn the pages and go to page 40 and learn about constipation and you can have a conversation about could this be constipation mom is having see the idea is not to go to the hospital there's so many things you can do if you just know what you need to do but you got to know what to ask and you got to know what to look for so in your time uh, working here in Rockland uh, my understanding from you is that a lot of the value that you brought to the community is to prevent emergency room visits to sort of um, identify problems ahead of time Talk a little bit about the importance of that and, and certainly from a, um, an opportunity to assist people further. Well, I have an interesting story. I have a patient named Rosemary, and she had no family. Uh, and I remember her primary doctor saying, I can't see Rosemary. She can't come here. She's blind. She's bedridden. Can you take her over? And I went to the house, and I took care of Rosemary, and I saw her every month for seven years. And I remember the paramedics had to come once, like four years into my visiting her, and said, wow, Rosemary, we haven't seen you in four years. And I said, I thought to myself, it's because I was there. I got a chest x-ray at home. I got her blood work. I treated her pneumonia. I got her a nebulizer. I saw her every week until I knew she was better. Uh, she got her antibiotics. Whatever she needed, I didn't let her go to the hospital unless she absolutely had to. And, and many of my patients did not go to the hospital. And I also became their hospice attending and signed their death certificates at the end. So I would say goodbye and, you know, write a family a note saying, Mary was so much fun. I learned this from her, but take care. And it was a, a good ending for my visit. So your name is Anne, your name is Nancy, it means grace, <laughs> yeah. and, and I'm, I'm touched by that. I also uh, know that you are looking to be a, um, a, a parish uh, nurse, um, and that's, you know, again, you are a spiritual person, so what's, uh, what continues to drive you and motivate you here? You know, uh, I love taking care of the people, but I did want to ask God, what can I do to help more people? And who knew that we were going to have this pandemic? Who knew in my lifetime that this was going to happen to all of us? I mean, I've had a woman the other day just call me in, in, on my YouTube and said, I have a 10-year-old son, and he's in a cast, and you showed me how to wash his hair in bed. He's so afraid of water, and he can watch movies while I wash his hair. Thank you so much. And I'm like, if I could touch a person like that, uh, and they answer me, I feel like I've taken care of somebody who's in need, um, and I don't even know who they are, you know, uh, which is wonderful. I feel that my site is giving people hope, a lot of humor, um, and timely information. Um, that's, that's, that's awesome, and uh, uh, again, you, you add so much to the world and out there. Thank you. And um, so you have a logo. And it means a lot to you. Can mm. you just tell the story of the hummingbird? Oh, sure. Um, so as I was sitting there writing my book in my kitchen table, actually for two and a half years writing this book, I went to Colorado for three weeks where my son lived and looked at the mountains and wrote my book. Then I took off for Florida for three weeks, looked at the palm trees and kept writing the book. And then I came home and I'm sitting in my kitchen and it was August, August 31st to be exact, and this hummingbird was at my back door in this big glass door. And I look up from my papers, and I could see the hummingbird busily staring at me on the other side of the glass. And I didn't think anything of it. And the day goes on, and I went out to our vegetable garden, and I was picking vegetables. And all of a sudden, I hear this buzzing in my ear, you know, like a hummingbird wings. And I look over, and this hummingbird, the same one, was right in front of my face, three inches away, and he wouldn't leave. Actually, it was a she, because she was gray. She wasn't real pretty. The men are the pretty ones, <laughs> birds. And I had to drop my bowl and just give this bird a total of attention. And the bird just was looking at me, and I'm like, what can I do for you? What is it that you want? So I went in the house with my vegetables, and the phone rang. And it was my friend Sharifa, and... I said, this weird thing just happened. This hummingbird's been bothering me all day. And she says, Nancy, do you know about the hummingbird? I said, what is about the hummingbird? She says, well, it means it's a spirit of somebody that you know and knows you is telling you they're okay on the other side. And August 31st, 
2017, my father-in-law took his life. He hung himself. He was 87, and he didn't want to live anymore. He couldn't see, he couldn't drive. He was told he had early dementia. And he was a tree man, and he knew how to make a knot. He knew how to climb a ladder, and he knew how to, to be successful. And he hung himself August 31st. And this is a year later hmm. to the day that dad had died, that hummingbird came. And I told his wife about it, and she was very happy to hear about the hummingbird. Well, the hummingbird became my logo from my book. That's a great I wear story. hummingbird earrings. I wear <laughs> hummingbirds all over the place. <laughs> that is a, a, a great story. Um, yeah. It's truly touching. And, again, the spirit of the world um, at levels we don't understand uh, do, do, in fact, speak to us. Um, so... Your, your book has um, been out there just since really COVID began. And, and so, um, you know, the opportunity for people to sort of gain the knowledge from all the things that you have to offer, mm -hmm. uh, you've been putting out these uh, videos. And so how many videos have you done? And, um, <laughs> and I know that you're looking for, what is it, likes or wants or need? Or what's the thing? Subscribers. Uh, subscribers, that's what it is. So everyone knows how YouTube works. Um, I have like 775 subscribers. I would love for everyone to subscribe to my channel, Caregiver Success. You'll see my hummingbird. You'll see me. I promise you I won't, I won't disappoint you. My videos keep coming. I'm going to do one on urinary tract infections. I'm doing one on incontinence products. I'm doing one on... I did one on walking in the woods with a friend, and it, some of them are really peaceful and hopeful. They're not all medical because we don't need only medical information. We need to be able to talk about what, what's bothering us. My mother-in-law suddenly passed away. Um, just six weeks after I got her up here from Florida, I did six videos on moving your mother-in-law. And she died of a brain aneurysm, and I'm still cleaning out our basement from all her belongings, going through watches and mask cards and rosary beads. And it's been very, very interesting time when you're going through somebody's things, their personal possessions. Um, don't get too stuck with things. I did a video on things <laughs> because, you know, you can't take it with you. Just enjoy your families and enjoy each other and know that we're all here on this earth to take care of each other. And um, I hope I could help you. If you have any questions, I have an email too, nancythemp at gmail.com. You, you can email me if you like. But I prefer if you go on my YouTube channel and subscribe. Just go to Caregiver Success. Um, the book is also on Amazon, a little cheaper there. But if you want to support me, you could go to my caregiversuccess.com page give it to somebody for christmas you know that's a great idea let's give the book for christmas i lost all my te all my teaching and speaking and and, and um book signing when COVID hit well the, your, your your time is coming um, <laughs> so as we approach this holiday season and with all of the talk out there about being safe and careful and cautious um do you have any comments for the people listening about what you would suggest and comment about? You know, that's interesting you say that because even on, on my Facebook page, I sent a link about the Mayo Clinic to all everyone I know about we're all getting together for holidays, but this is what you need to do to protect yourself. I'm forever making noise when it comes to taking care of my neighbor or, or people I know or anybody I don't know, obviously. But... Um, you know, we really need to keep our numbers down and we need to wear our masks and um, keep your numbers to the under 10, I believe, is now that the issue, try not to cross state borders. I mean, I'm staying home with my husband and, and his two kids and there's nobody else coming. And I'm, I'm from a family of seven. There's 50 of us and we're all not seeing each other. But nobody said we couldn't have a Zoom Thanksgiving party. Right. Well, that's true. And again, this is a, this is a year of sacrifice. And yeah. I think we all know that. And, um, you know, we've hung in there for a long time. And uh, for those out there who have suffered in any way, my heart goes out to all of you. And um, it's, a, it's a tough time of our uh, his nation's history. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no question. And, um, you know, we will get through it. We will be strong, New York strong. Um, but, you know, for, for being able to um, be a, uh, start in Rockland County to start with your home care company to 
to, to now writing a book to help so many other people and to have this new technology of YouTube sort of far and wide around the world. Um, it's, it's quite a journey. Um, you've, you've done a lot. I'm loving um, it. What, what do you see for your future on how you will continue to contribute to the, the health and well-being of the world? Wow. Well, if God lets me stick around for a while, I wouldn't mind keep doing YouTubes as I grow older. I mean, I'm 63. I had Mark on my show to show me what to do with Medicare. So, you know, I still want to ride my bicycle and have a good time, but I still have to take care of these issues, uh, getting a will and talking to elder lawyers and whatnot. Check out my YouTube, though, because I'm bringing experts on. I'm not the expert on, on everything. I am bringing people on to tell you where you can get the information. So I'm interviewing them. So I'm going to keep supplying you that. But maybe I'll be 81 years old walking with a cane, and it'll be a sexy one. And, and maybe I'll still be doing my YouTube videos. I don't know. We'll I think, see. I think so. Based on what I can tell right now, I think that's true. So you have a sign on your front uh, lawn. I want you to tell me what that sign says. <laughs> okay, so if anybody knows Matthew Kelly, he's a really cool writer. He and uh, um, he goes all over the world doing talks on um, about taking care of yourself. Always be the best best version of yourself. And if you think about that, there's seven virtues. Anyway, I read this book, Perfectly Yourself. And in the book, he talks about always do the next right thing. And, you know, right smack in the middle of COVID. Well, and during elections, while the signs were out, vote for who and vote for this, vote for that, the newspaper caught my sign, which is in the front yard, that said always do the next right thing. And, and they said, we can all endorse this right now. Right. So it's funny, but... People slow down to read my sign. <laughs> well, that's that's a great inspiration, and it is about doing the right thing for your fellow <laughs> man, for your family, uh, for yourself, right? I mean, we talked about taking care of oneself and and that mm. role. So, uh, sort of, and, and sort of a last question: taking care of oneself as a part of what you want to communicate to, to, to people and how important that is. Well, I actually do have a video on taking care of the caregiver, and it's actually a list of things that people need to think about. I mean, I've taken care of people who put on a lot of weight. They don't get their hair done. Their living room becomes a hospital room for their mother. They don't have their friends anymore. They lost their job. And then all of a sudden, mom dies. And they're like, I have nothing. Keep your identity. Make sure you take time for yourself. Keep your friends. We even now call up and do Zoom cocktail parties. Anything you can to keep social relationships going. Get time out of the house for yourself to take a walk. Make sure you get your brothers and sisters or somebody you know to man up and help you so you can have time out so you're not the only one taking care of mom. It, it's really, really important because if you don't put the oxygen mask on you first, like on the airplane, you can't take care of the person in the chair next to you. And it's so true. You've got to take care of yourself. Well, you are an inspiration. Uh, <laughs> you are a joy to be on the air with. Um, we Thank will you. have to do this again. Again, this Definitely. is um, uh, Emerald Medicare, Medicare Mark, Mark Brownstein, um, uh, helping people all year long. People retire. People turn 65. Um, one thing I'm going to mention as uh, we get ready to end the show today is there's a program in New York State called Epic. I talk about it on every show. It is not only an opportunity for people who are on high cost pharmaceutical medications um, to get a potential reduction of those costs. But it's also a chance during the year, if for any reason you do not like the plan that you're on, for whatever reason you've been sold something that you really didn't understand or your doctors are not covered by that network. This program called Epic, only in New York State, there's other programs in other states, but the callers here are mostly from New York. Um, the qualification is a couple under $100,000 of income previous year a single person under 75. It gives an opportunity to change your plan one additional time each year. It also gives an opportunity to have a reduction of Medicare medication costs if you meet the deductible. It's a great program. Uh, the medication costs, the issues that I see around prescription drugs is probably the single biggest issue that I face in challenges throughout the season, uh, throughout the year. So again, um, we are um, a proud company servicing Rockland County, uh, Bergen County, Fairfield County, Connecticut, and Westchester. Uh, we cover 15 states around the country. 
but truly, our staff works hard in supporting our clients. Um, it is a, a business that is fraught with confusion. It's fraught with an overwhelming amount of um, um, misleading uh, information about everything being free. On the other hand, you need an independent person who is looking out after your best interests, looking out for your health and for your budget. Um, so again, Mark Brownstein, 845-358-1220. It has been a pleasure being with Nancy, the nurse practitioner here today, here at WRCR. I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for bringing thank you. a little bit of spirit and joy and reality uh, to the Thanks, community Mark. as we approach uh, the Thanksgiving season. Um, any last comments? Yeah, so everyone, check out my YouTube channel where Mark is doing a YouTube with me about Are You 64? You better start looking at your Medicare plan. And he did a great video with me. So please check out and subscribe to Caregiver Success. Thanks, guys. Thank you all. Have a, have Take a good care. weekend. Happy New Year and everything. Happy holidays.